close and when you are not doing your job, it affects the body as a whole. There are many members, but they're all of one body. You have to understand that each person needs to be held accountable for what is in your stream. Right. Because it doesn't matter if it's only in your stream, it's going to flow back into the mouth of my river. Wow. Wow, that's good. That's real. This is why this is why I'm not going to surround myself with people who I know are living contaminated and polluted lives because I know that what is in your stream is going to come back into my river and I can't allow your pollution to dirty up my canal of water. I wish I did teach, have a church. Teach. Uh, and so you have to understand then that, that you uh, you need to be careful then what streams are polluted because the streams uh, that are polluted run into the river which becomes polluted and the river goes and feeds the garden. Mm. And so uh, once one thing becomes contaminated or polluted then everything else falls in line after that. Mm. So you have to be careful then uh, uh, what you surround yourself with and who you allow into your garden. Understand now that after fall comes winter uh, and you are going to endure the severity of climatic weather. Uh, you are going to endure a, a, one of the harshest seasons of the year. Uh, and it is very hard to keep your garden and to keep your, your, your area or your garden pure and ripe for harvest in the winter of uh, season of the year, uh, in the winter of your life. And, and this is my concern for the body of Christ because oftentimes we, we go to harvest festival we go to revival and we reap the same thing but next year around that time we find ourselves still praying the same prayer again why because the devil has come and taken or has killed our garden right. for our harvest right and so we can't never move on to what's next right. because we're still stuck we asking god again right. for the same thing because right. we allow the devil to kill our harvest right. in the winter of our life that's good. That's good. All right. I said I wasn't going to be here long. I'm almost finished now. And so uh, you have to understand that you have to protect your garden in the winter then of your life. Okay. That's good. So I asked God, I asked him, I said, God, how then, how then are we supposed to do that? How then are we supposed to protect this garden? How then are we supposed to stay in position in the winter seasons of our life to make sure that our gardens uh, remain pure and ripe for harvest? Uh, so I began to do some research. And there are a few. There are quite a few things that gardeners do uh, to make sure that their harvest and their garden stays ready uh, during the winter of their life for the next time harvest rolls around. Okay, all right. Uh, but of this thing, of these things, there were two that stuck out to me. The first thing says uh, that they they put a layer of protective soil over top of the soil that's already there. Wow. Uh, because they need to keep put a layer of a new layer of mulch or a new layer of protection over what is already there to keep the garden uh, uh, keep it warm uh, during during the snowfall. Right. Also, it, it, it adds a different shield then when little creatures and, and, and pests and bugs try to come and find their way into the deep places of the soil. They can't get through because there's a protective layer. Ah. Come on, work I said, okay, way. God, revelate this thing in the spirit for me because uh, how then do we get this protective layer over our garden uh, in the spirit? Yes. And, and so the Bible says when the enemy comes in like a flood, then the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Right, right. I said, okay. Uh, but it, 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 it touched me, but it didn't minister to me. And I said, God, I, something about the scripture isn't right. Uh, how is it that uh, I, I know when the enemy comes in like a flood, then you shall lift up a standard. But I'm not understanding that because if the standard is being lifted, how can we keep losing the harvest? Mm. Uh, and so, uh, it's very simple terminology. I looked up the word flood. And flood by dictionary denotation means an overflowing of a large amount of water beyond its normal confines. And so I said, okay, uh, God, I don't, I don't understand. How come we don't see the standard if the flood is ever present? He said, because flood means beyond its normal confines. And you don't recognize the flood as a flood because you always let the devil come that far in. Wow. Ooh, okay. uh, so God does not see his cue to lift the standard because this is your normal. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. This is your normal. And so every year you, you ask God for the harvest and every year you lose the same harvest to the same attack because this is how far you let the devil in each year. Wow. Each year around this time, you let him wreck your mind. Wow. Each year around this time. 
time, you let him take your peace each year around this time. You let him take your joy. And so there's no standard because you don't recognize a flood. Oh, Jesus. So, so then you have to understand uh, that your protective layer Ooh, is gone Jesus. because you don't recognize the flood when it comes. Ooh. This amount is normal for you. You don't recognize this as an attack of the enemy. You call this normal life. Jesus. So God says, I don't have a cue to lift up a standard. You, don't, you didn't call me to lift the standard because this is normal for you. Wow. Wow. This cycle uh, every year of, of, of asking God for harvest and finally reaping harvest and then losing harvest to the flood because you don't recognize the flood when it comes. You've got to stay in position even during the winter of your life. That's there can right. be no holes in no levees. There can be no breaks in the dam. There can be no uh, ways or no areas for water to come in. You've got to see the yes. flood when it comes. Yes, 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 yes. You've yes. got to see the flood when it comes. And once you see the flood uh, when it comes, you can then say, God, I need you now to lift up the standard because I recognize the flood when it comes. Uh, because what was once normal no longer is normal. Come on, sir. Come on. That's yes. good. What was once normal is no longer normal for me. And that's what you've got to do. Uh, that's the mindset you've got to have while trying to maintain your harvest uh, in the winter of your life. What was once normal is no longer normal for me. Have you ever had to try and tell somebody uh, there's nothing wrong with you but just it's what you desire and what I desire just ain't the same thing no more. What was once normal to me is no longer normal so therefore I can't be associated yes. with you because what is normal for you is not normal yes. for me. Yes. Understand there is a standard yes. now that has been lifted over me yes. and we cannot associate yes. it. There's nothing wrong with you. It's not personal but what is normal for you. Right. Right. It's no longer normal for me. 